Hello everyone. In the previous videos, I have explained what is this keyword and four uses of this keyword with example. And if you haven't watched previous videos, then don't worry, you can watch it out on a link that I have mentioned in the description of this video. You can go through it. Okay. In this video, I am going to explain how this keyword can be used to invoke current class constructor with example. Then I will explain what's the purpose behind it. All I will explain in this video, so just keep watching till end, okay? But to understand it completely, you should know the basic knowledge about Java constructor. And if you don't know about Java constructor, then don't worry, I have made simplified video on Java constructor. You can go through it. I will provide link in the description of this video, okay? So let's discuss it directly through an example. It will be easy to understand. Now see here, I have already created one class here and it's a test class and create instance variables and they are int a and int b. And inside main method, I have created test class object and access value of a and b using test class object directly inside println method. So when I will run this code, then first statement inside main method will execute. So this statement will execute and test class object will create on heap memory with its instance variables. Because instance variables are always belong to an object, right? And this default constructor get called because I didn't create any constructor inside test class. And hence compiler will call its own constructor implicitly and default values will assign to the instance variables. And this reference variable t will store on stack memory. So if I run this code, you can see here default values are assigned to the instance variables. Now if I want to create my own constructor and here a equals to 10 and b equals to suppose 20 and print here a and b okay and comment out this line and now if i run this code then this statement will execute and this test class object will create and this default constructor or non-parameterized constructor get call and this time my own created default constructor will invoke instead of compiler's own constructor and 10 and 20 value will assign to the instance variable and will print on a screen so let's check it out. Let's run the code. You can see here our own values are assigned to the instance variables. Okay, clear up to this. Now, if I want to create one more constructor, test and pass here int p and create here one more instance variable and it's suppose int x and write here x equals to p and print here x so this is parameterized constructor and to invoke this parameterized constructor we will need to create another object of test class inside main method so let's create it suppose t2 new test okay and pass here value that will match to this parameter okay and so it's suppose value 30 and now if I run this code, then at the time of execution, first statement inside main method will execute. So program control first come to this and this test class object will create. And then this non-argument constructor will call and compiler look for this non-argument constructor inside test class because this constructor is get call on a test class object. And therefore, compiler will look for this non-argument constructor inside test class and will invoke this constructor and values will assign to the instance variables and will print on a screen after that control come back over here and this statement get execute and another test class object will create and this parameterized constructor will call and compiler look matching for this constructor inside test class and will invoke this parameterized constructor and this value 30 will set to the local variable p and then will assign to the instance variable x and then control come to this and this value of x will print on a screen so we are getting value 10 20 and 30 as an output okay so let's check it out let's run the code you can see here we got an expected output okay so output is well and good no issue in it but if we notice here i have created two constructors here inside test class 
non parameterized constructor and parameterized constructor and to invoke these constructors i have create two test class object one object to call non parameterized constructor and one object to call parameterized constructor right but in future if i want to create multiple constructors as per client requirements then for each constructor i will need to create multiple objects to invoke that multiple constructors right and due to this code can become bulky as well as lengthy and complicated to understand that means simple code readability will decrease right and we can overcome this problem using this keyword so simply we can write this keyword with parenthesis inside another constructor and here we will need to add parenthesis because we have to pass parameters to the constructor and if there is no parenthesis then how we can pass parameters to the constructor right and hence we will need to add parenthesis with this keyword and it represent current class constructor because this keyword always refer to the current class object clear and comment out this line because we have to invoke this parameterized constructor okay so when i will execute this program then at the time of execution program control come to this and test class object will create and this parameterized constructor get call and will invoke this parameterized constructor and this value 30 will set to the variable p and then control come over here and compiler understand that this is a current class constructor and therefore compiler will look for this matching constructor inside current class that is inside test class and will invoke this constructor so basically here job of this keyword is to give a call to the matching constructor then control come over here and value 10 will assign to a and value 20 will assign to variable b and then control come over here and the value of a and b will print then control come back over here and then value of p that is 30 will assign to variable x and will print on a screen okay and then control come back over here and program will terminate so simply keep in mind if we use this keyword with parenthesis then it represent current class constructor and it is used to give a call to the matching constructor of a current class clear and see here i have create only one current class that is test class object and invoke two current class constructors on single current class object using this keyword similarly we can create and invoke multiple current class constructors on single current class object using this keyword and due to this code can become easy to understand that is code can become more readable so basically this keyword help to increase code readability and this is one of the purpose of this keyword clear now let's run the code let's see you can see here we have got 10 20 and 30 as an output or we can invoke parameterized constructor also okay so let's comment out this line and simply write here this and pass here 30 okay and remove this comment from here and comment out this line because we have to call non argument constructor so when this non argument constructor will call then this constructor will invoke and then control come to this and this parameterized constructor will invoke okay and this value 30 will set to this variable p and then will assign to the variable x and will print on a screen okay so let's check it out you can see here first we are getting value 30 and then 10 and 20 because first parameterized constructor will call and then non parameterized constructor will call and hence we are getting output like this but remember one thing constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor that means this should be the first statement in the constructor that is if i write this keyword after some code of line okay suppose if i write here then it will generate error let's check it out you can see here compiler raise an error constructor call must be the first statement in a constructor so always keep in mind this keyword with parenthesis must be the first statement in a constructor okay that's it i hope you understand how this keyword can be used to invoke current class constructor
in the next tutorial i will explain what is constructor chaining and purpose behind it okay for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching